Hello, buddy. Welcome back to Ten Minutes Corner. I'm your host, Jeffrey Ten Man Taylor, and today we're over by my movie shelf again because I got another movie haul. Yay! <laughs> anyway, uh, just thought I'd get on here and show you guys all the movies I just acquired last weekend, and uh, one of them came from Walmart in the five dollar bin. So let me go grab that one real quick. All right, get ready, all you Western movie fanatics. Conagher with Sam Elliott. Now, I have not seen any of his independent uh, Western movies, and I found this in the $5 bin at Walmart. I said I can't pass that up, so I had to get it. But uh, I heard a lot of people talk about this movie, and also um, Tombstone with him and Val Kilmer and Kurt Russell. So those are the only two Western movies that I know of with him in it. Besides, there might be some other ones, but I haven't watched them all. So I was happy when I got this one. Now, put this to the side. I'm going to show you the movies that I picked up from the Durham Rescue Mission. And it's a whole stack of them, believe me. All right. When I walked in there, I was not hardly expecting anything, right? Because usually they have the same old movies there and then sometimes they rotate them and put new ones out well I got there on a lucky day because this is the first item or excuse me movie I found on the shelf a Disney movie with Tom Hanks saving Mr. Banks basically Tom is playing uh, Walt Disney and uh, Emma Thompson's playing the lady that owns the uh, rights to Mary Poppins that's what I saw in the trailer but I haven't seen this movie before so I said Oh, yes. I gotta grab it. Next. Van Helsing, The London Assignment. And Hugh Jackman is playing the voice of Van Helsing. It says, Experience a Van Helsing adventure that takes place before the events of the blockbuster film. So, this is before the Van Helsing movie. So, this is technically a prequel. Okay? So, I said, I did not have this when I bought the Van Helsing movie. And I've never seen it before, so I said, another one in the collection. Oh, I can tell you right now, I had an animated uh, movie from the Terminator franchise. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, it's the one from Terminator Salvation. But I forgot the title for it. It was like uh, the lady that was playing Blair. She was voicing her character in that movie, but it only had uh, like the T-600s and... Some of the mother Terminators, and they won't like T eight hundreds or nothing. But I, I wished I never got rid of that film because it was kind of like this, but that one was more computer generated for like a video game style. This is more got anime, animation in it. So I like to get that movie back if I can. But anyway, Van Helsing, the London Asylum. Now, you guys probably know I'm a huge Sherlock Holmes fan, right? Well, I remember watching this film years ago but I never got it on DVD but until now and it looked like somebody was gonna open it but they did not take the uh, bottom tape piece off so they only ripped the top so I looked at it the disc is still in there so I said good well it'd be hard for them to remove the tape and everything but anyway uh, basically if I can recall after watching it on TV Somebody framed Sherlock for like cheating on a test, but he already knew the answers in his head. It was one of them uh, brat boys or something. But anyway, Watson right here with the glasses got transferred over there. I think his father was like a janitor or something. And uh, there's a young girl that's actually um, Hudson. I said, oh, you got all three main Sherlock Holmes characters in one film, but then your younger days. So, yeah, basically. So he's trying to solve whoever, you know, throw the uh, note on, like, the note with the answers and everything on it. So I think that's what that whole film is about. But anyway, young Sherlock Holmes. I haven't seen the whole thing in a while, so I'm glad to find that. Oh, here's a doozy. I'm a huge fan of the Universal Monsters and all that, right? Well, I'm also a fan of this classic, uh, Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. And while looking on the shelves, I found this. Brand new seal is the animated uh, version. And I think I've seen this one on computer or YouTube. 
already. But I said, hey, Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde on DVD, gotta get it. I just need to find the other ones now. But anyway. Alright, these last two from this bundle were actually movies I already had, but foolishly enough, I sold them. But I said I wished I never did. So I got them back. Johnny, they're both Johnny Depp movies. That you, you guys remember I showed you guys The Course of Pride last time, right? Well, I sold it before I even watched the darn thing. I said, I'm holding on to this one for a while before I sell it again. Then, also, Edward Scissorhands. Now, I had, if you guys watched in my Johnny Depp collection video, I had the copy with the, uh, like, Edward Scissorhands and Wynonna Ryder on the front of the cover. This one looks like it's like in the snow, but I, I kind of like this version better. So, I'm keeping these. Alrighty. That's the Durham Rescue Mission. Let me show you what I picked up at Big Lots. Alright. Me and my mom went to Big Lots because she just wanted to look for some like household items, grocery and stuff for Easter. Well, I looked over in the movie section and I found another Red Skelton DVD set, but this is the holiday collection so it's got the plight before christmas the red skeleton hour christmas show and another one that's got leslie nielsen in it and then extras are the gift of giving Applebee's new year's office party the thanksgiving turkey freddie and the carolers and willie lump lump expert tree trimmer and many more special features are Red's very special performance of the Pledge of Allegiance, so pretty good. Now, I think I got the Pledge of Allegiance on the other box set, but hey, whatever they can add on here is all right. And plus, anything with Red Skelton or Christmas related, I'm grabbing it. <laughs> so, all right, folks, that is today's movie haul. Let me know down in the comments which one of these movies are your favorite, and uh, let me know if you guys like this haul in, in general. So. That's going to be it for now. Don't forget to like, subscribe, turn on post notifications for more movie haul content like this. As always, this has been another successful installment of the Tim Man's Corner Channel. I'm your host, Jeffrey Tim Man Taylor. Sayonara, everybody. And have a nice day.